valuation of fixed assets. One type of capital assets, fixed tangible assets are used in the operation of a business. Mainly, it belongs to one of the below given categories, namely land and buildings, which are generally not subject to depletion or depreciation, except in some cases. Plant and machinery, subject to depreciation. And then mines, oil wells, which is uh, subject to depletion. So valuation is done on the basis of the following observations, which are for depreciable assets, which is fixed assets, which may be depreciated. The assets are valued at cost minus a proper allowance made for depreciation. For fixed assets that deplete, maybe mines, ores, etc. The assets are valued at cost minus an allowance made for depletion. For all non-depreciable assets, the assets are valued at cost. So that is the basis on which valuation is done on these capital assets. Next, we'll take a look at valuation of land and building. So here satisfactory evidence need, needs to be obtained in regard to, uh, needs to be obtained from the owners of the land and building for the property valuation. The following steps are to be followed by the auditor. So the auditor should first prepare a schedule of land accounts that need to be uh, done. So a schedule of land accounts needs to be prepared. Next title dates need to be examined. Next valuation basis need to be determined. Income from land and land maintenance costs need to be determined. So these are some of the things which the auditor has to do before doing valuation of land and buildings. So actually the different steps, if you really see that an auditor should follow for valuation of land and buildings are first is schedule of land accounts needs to be prepared as was told earlier. Title deeds needs to be examined. The most important task of the auditor in relation to audit of land is to determine ownership of the land and its proper valuation. So auditor should complete all of the below. It, he should examine the title deeds related to the property. If the property is mortgaged, if it is a, uh, mortgaged to a bank or if it is mortgaged in general, the auditor should get a certificate from the, mod, uh, from the mortgage regarding possession of title deeds and the loan amount of the property being mortgaged. A certificate from banker is needed if the title deeds are deposited with them for safe custody. So if it is with the banker deposited for safe custody, then a certificate from the banker is required. Auditor should visit the property and premises that belongs to the client. For inspecting uh, reasons for valuation of land and building, auditor should visit the property and premises that belongs to the client. A certificate needs to be obtained from legal advisor of the client that may assure the correctness of the property's title deed. So from the legal advisor, a certificate needs to be obtained, which may say the correctness of the property's title deed. For any property purchases, the auditor should give an undertaking for the same and should be shown in the balance sheet at cost, including legal and registration charges. So for any property purchases, what needs to be done? An undertaking needs to be uh, given by the auditor and this should be shown in the balance sheet at cost, including legal and registration charges. For leasehold, the auditor should validate the deed, the lease deed, and certify its value and duration and make sure everything is capitalized, including legal expenses in connection to the leasehold, if the property is on lease. If any land is sold, auditor should make sure, this is apart from leasehold, the next item which he should do is, if it is not a leasehold, and if any land is sold, Auditor should make sure profit or loss on sale is correctly accounted for in the books. After all of this, he has to do the valuation basis. So the valuation basis need to be determined and should be valued at cost. Income from land and land maintenance costs 
needs to be determined. So these are the detailed steps which an auditor should follow before val while evaluating land and buildings.